Yo, what's up, Whale fam? Hey, so. Yeah, yo, welcome yeah. to uh, this edition of the Whale Live Art Creation Session. I'm your host, show. You already know that already. <laughs> and um, yeah, we would like to welcome a really good friend of mine, awesome artist. He's incredible. He's amazing. He is one of the 10 special artists for September participating in the NFT mining initiative. And a little bit about that, we have 10 artists who are creating exclusive pieces that will only be sold for whale. And uh, they will be made available to everyone, which is awesome. So if you have some whale and you like the pieces being made, you like the artists themselves, and you want to pick up an edition or so the editions vary according to the artist, by the way, you can definitely seek to grab one of those. They're awesome. We've, uh, we've had some pretty awesome, um, live art sessions, but I'm really excited about this particular one because uh, this is my guy. Um, most of the whale members love him. You know, him. this is George Boya. So now if everyone would please click on George Boya's screen, we will all be able to check out this masterpiece that he is putting the finishing touches on. Well, actually, I finished it, so and uh, oh, wait, 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 hold, hold, hold on, hold on. You know, we we, we want to look at the goods, you know, before before you say it's 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 finished. <laughs> we definitely want to check out, you know, we want to we want to dive deep and look at the, the little tiny details. Okay, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, I can uh, show you. You know, all yeah. the details, all the style of the work. Uh, do you have any problems with the sound and uh, the stuff like that? And, uh, no, my no, squeaking you, chair. no, no, no. Your sound is perfect. You know, perfect yeah. vocals as usual. Thank you very okay. much. It's greatly, Thank greatly you. appreciated. Yeah. You so, uh, so, so, yeah. So, uh, how's the weather over there, over in, um, in Greece, man? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, it's, uh, you know, kind of hot uh, still, but, uh, you know, we have some uh, uh, typhoons coming uh, and uh, stuff like that. You know. What typhoons? You're, you're, creating, yeah. you're creating masterpieces of typhoons now? I, I'm waiting for the typhoon. I'm waiting for the typhoon. I'm creating the masterpiece, but still waiting for the typhoon to come. <laughs> hey, me, me, me too, my brother. Like, I mean, I, I tend to use typhoon for a number of different types of like metaphors and euphemisms and and cliches. You know what I'm saying? So I feel you. I'm waiting on the quote unquote typhoon too. Uh, speaking, speaking of um, weathering the storm and creating great things, uh, I'm looking at this piece, and again, man, too, you're like we're always on the same wavelength when it comes to symbols. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I was just speaking to a particular friend of mine yesterday in regards to symbols and making people feel things. He knows, he knows who I'm talking to. He knows who I'm talking about. And um, this is a perfect example of really embracing symbolism within the artwork, you know, and making us feel something right off the bat. Um, yeah, so, yeah. I love, so I love, so I love that uh, looking at your piece right now. So everyone, please uh, direct your attention to this awesome piece right here. I'm talking about these symbols, both on the upper layer and also the inner layer, but the red layer right here, right? That he's focusing on. Um, I love these particular symbols, you know, I love esoteria, you know? Oh, uh, so George, would you mind, um, letting us in a little bit on the inspiration behind that? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, I wanted to make something, uh, for the whale community and uh, focused on the whale. Uh, but, um, you know, I was inspired a bit by the covers of the books I was reading back in the 90s and, you know, uh, record covers and stuff like that. I wanted to do something, uh, something fun, something uh, a little epic, uh, you know. And, uh, I didn't want to emphasize much uh, on the whale uh, as a creature, no, because, you know, it's rather obvious. I wanted to put it uh, just uh, in the little details and uh, create, uh, you know, a future 
magic whale uh, wilder <laughs> something like that yeah yeah i feel you i definitely feel you on that and yeah and, uh, something uh, so i wanted to show you a bit of uh, how i constructed this collage first okay. of all i'm uh, a collage artist i don't know if uh, all of the people knows uh, what i'm exactly doing yeah yeah um actually actually um let's let's focus on that uh why don't you let's we have we have a ton of brand new whale members here. This is yeah, their yeah. first well, live well, art stream. Uh, a little bigger since the last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. You know, um, we we, yeah, we we cracked around about like two k members, give or take, and it's pretty awesome. Um, but would you mind letting them in on your style in particular, just to recap? Some of us, uh, we know already, but just for our new members, yeah. though, um, explain what being a collage artist is and what like your style is and what your flavor is, just so they know. Uh, well, uh, I was a uh, collage artist, a uh, hand-cut uh, collage artist for the past uh, 15 years and uh, the last uh, two, three years I switched to digital. And uh, mainly I try to reconstruct my older designs and uh, take pieces uh, from them and uh, creating new compositions, new digital uh, collages. Um, <clears throat> collage is an art that uh, you know you never do something uh, from the it's not like painting you usually take something and uh, you transform it uh, to something else uh, for example uh, I will show you the original photos that uh, I made this uh, artwork uh, okay yeah definitely it's actually those three that you see. What? Wait, yo, okay. Everyone who's in voice who can't see the stream, do me a favor, click on the stream. Not because I'm telling you to, but actually more so I want you to enjoy this with me, right? So George is like, he showed us in his last, last art session how he tends to pull pieces from random random spots he'll take like all sorts of little things and then he uses it within like the masterpieces that he creates this is yet another example of how he can pull an image from something that we could never think of actually two two two, two things right and just because um uh, he likes the particular like vibe fabric color right it captures a, a, something that he wants to incorporate this is a perfect example i would have never thought that an artist would use a random stock image of a woman graduating posing in a graduation yeah, gown and also <clears throat> and what is this what is this pipe to the to the right of her face is that a pipe uh, or something this is uh, just a uh, you know a component uh, from uh, something and i uh, use it uh, several times in the artwork to make it a little bit uh, mechanic steampunk style uh, uh, also give a little uh, color this is actually that uh, many times y'all y'all do you do you understand like do you do you like do you get what i'm getting right now like are you are you on the same what like wavelength or like are you on the same vibe like do you get the fact that he pulled a stock image of a graduation gown a a metal rod right from some kind of mechanical something thingamajig yeah, thing thing right and he put it into his piece and he created this awesome work that this is nuts this is like mind-blowing and i and, and i'm not just souping it up like you just have to understand the level the levels you have to go to in order to create man it's like if you not really to like light a fire under you but it's like you can always add an extra detail you know it, yeah, it's, you, start, it, uh, you start a little sy symbol uh, with uh, the collage it's actually yeah a free stock uh, model I had in mind uh, to make something like, uh, you know, a sorcerer wizard style. So I use, and I often recommend, uh, uh, where is it? Excuse me. This side, uh, which uh, has uh, three PNGs. Three of, uh, you know, for co three for commercial use, for something like that. And I uh, usually draw something uh, from this uh, stock uh, stock images, and this is where I found actually in the, the graduate uh, student. It's a very cool site if uh, you want to uh, start with collage. 
And uh, so <clears throat> I had uh, this image. And then I was uh, watching some videos uh, lately about uh, photo busing. Do you know what photo busing is? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Would you mind explaining, please? Yeah. So photo busing is um, at least the artist was using it and uh, maybe named it uh, also. Uh, to take one photo and, uh, you know, start repeating it, uh, cutting it, making, uh, giving it another shape uh, again and again and again until you make another result. For example, uh, this guy took a toaster photo, a stock toaster photo, and made a robot out of, uh, you know, several uh, stock photos. And uh, something, uh, you know, in the same spirit, because it's very intriguing to start only with a photo, only one, and uh, see how how far you can uh, push the, uh, the whole uh, idea. So this is uh, the piece that uh, all the armor was made, this face. Mm. All, this, uh, all this green stuff mm -hmm. okay, from uh, this photo. And uh, mostly by you know, repeating it. You could uh, take this part, uh, uh, cut it. A lot of mirrorings. Mm. Yeah, y'all, just so you know, um, for all of the new members listening and watching, if I'm going silent, it's not because I don't have anything to say. I have a lot to say, but um, I would like to maintain the focus on the actual artwork and the artist showing us how it's done. Okay. So um, it's always best to just okay, pay attention yeah. when I go quiet. So this is, uh, you know, a piece I used uh, exactly, I think, in uh, the original artwork with those. Uh, like a uh, wings uh, style. Yeah, just for everyone listening, by the way, um, for the new listeners uh, who don't know, um, George Boya is currently using Photoshop in order to yeah, um, work on these pieces. He's mainly Photoshop based, and uh, but he tends to incorporate a lot of different things from a bunch of different places, y'all. Right now, he's currently showing how he incorporated the um the awesome mask feature that he used the metal rods and the woman wearing the graduation gown into the awesome piece that he has right now there are uh, really endless uh, combinations you can make in this look at that even that is a really interesting uh shape to, shape to be used uh, in some you know you can uh, merge those two layers you can flip it a bit take it no it's a decent armor <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, lo it, it looks like the female version of iron man <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you have the other part, uh, and then, uh, you know, you can uh, put them somehow together, make a more interesting uh, shape. Collage is uh, it's an easy medium. Mm -hmm. You just need uh, a lot of imagination, uh, playing around uh, with uh, new ideas. Mm -hmm. um, you know, cut all the inside here. And this I usually why I encourage people to start uh, get creative uh, with um, collages. 
because it's easy. You know, everyone has a um, you know, program, uh, if not uh, Photoshop, uh, maybe Kimp, uh, which is uh, open source. And mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of free images that uh, you can uh, use, or your own images. Uh, I think uh, you are doing something like that, so. Huh? Somewhat. Uh, uh, yeah, somewhat. It gets a little, um, with, the, with the clip art, it's more mm -hmm. of a... I, I also tend to like shave off certain pieces in order to make them fit, but it may look like it's like super dirty, which mm. was trying to, which is where I was trying to get to. But yours is so exact, right? It's like, oh man, sick. So look at that, uh, it looks a bit like uh, maybe a helmet, if you can so. So, and then, uh, what I used a lot uh, for this particular article was uh, the close tab tool. Very handy. In order to start to. Uh, start uh, erasing stuff. Wow, y'all. So right now you see the amount of detail he's doing actually to the yeah, hair. Yeah. Everything, everything must do. <laughs> wow, he's, oh man, he's chopping off the fingers. No, keep the pinky. We need the no, pinky. No. He's, he's like, no, no, let's get rid of it. <laughs> like he just needs the gown. Oh, a mechanical one. Yeah. Oh, 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 like cyborg mechanical hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. So that's like an entire layer. The hand is an entire layer. Yeah, the hand is an uh, entire layer. Uh, merged uh, layers, you know, three, four layers together. Oh, with, so, with, with the rods is like bones. Yeah, yeah. This was, uh, that was uh, the idea to show a bit like, uh, you know, more mechanic. So you can uh, easy, more easily visualize that uh, this is a uh, kind of uh, hand. Oh, wow. That is nuts. Wow. So wait, y'all. So he used three of the rods mm -hmm. as uh, like a connector bone. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. replace the hands. It's, this is sick. Oh, my God. This is so sick. And uh, this is the armor. This is a uh, whole piece. Now you can see how I you know, kind of uh, put the layers one above the other so that, uh, for example, the wells are uh, back. The space is uh, the one piece that is uh, uh, the back mm -hmm. from the end. And uh, those little... Uh, yeah, yeah, you added, you added extra details to the rods. Yeah, yeah. This was because uh, let me see. Because I wanted something else to do. I don't know. Ah, these are the shadows. Yeah, these are the shadows behind the armor. Second one now. And uh, you know, they became one of the same. So these are uh, the same clouds that I used. Uh, for this part. Yeah. Wait, wh where'd you where'd you get the clouds from? Again, uh, the same uh, pure PNG uh, stock photo side. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we are, uh, you know, they have uh, a sort of uh, dynamic like that. Look like uh, smoke uh, coming out of uh, this little... Uh, the breastplate. Wait, yeah, uh, 
Um, wait, so uh okay, let's let's talk about this one second because this is one of the most striking things about the piece, and other people I'm pretty sure are pretty interested in the inspiration behind it. Uh two parts though. First thing is um what was it inspired by? And two, is are, is the smoke animated? Ah uh, no, no. The smoke uh, is not animated for the second okay. part. Okay. Uh, it could have been animated, but uh, sometimes uh, GIFs are not uh, are not uh, done very well. <laughs> they are a bit problematic for this uh, particular artwork uh, because uh, GIFs have only 256 colors. When uh, Photoshop is uh, trying to uh, render the artwork, it has uh, certain algorithms that uh, try to cover the colors between the 256 uh, colors. So you have a very full of colors artwork and uh, shades and uh, stuff like that. Uh, most of the times you get a very distorted uh, result uh, with the uh, GIFs. So no animation in this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. With, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, personally, I mean, for for those of us of a particular age, we kind of know that this breastplate right here with the smoke is vaguely reminiscent of a super famous pop star that goes by one name. And then it was copied by another famous pop star <laughs> um, that goes by two names. But I'm pretty sure everyone knows who the first one is, definitely, though. The first one. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, wait. Like, let, let, let's see if someone types it in the stream tech channel. Hey, y'all. Right. So, 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 this, so this breastplate right here, right? Who does this remind you? Boom. There you go. There you go, Con Wolf. Shout out to Con Wolf. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Madonna, by the way. So yeah, Madonna, so, yeah, 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 Madonna, yeah. And then, and then the second artist I was mentioning was Lady Gaga. So yeah, yeah, Lady it's had a very, very interesting vibe. But it's, but it's good though. Of their breastplates, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a very, 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 very Wonder Woman vibes. Yeah, yeah. Cool. But, uh, but to, uh, to get away from that though. Um, I just want to say again, I love the use of the symbols here. I also mm -hmm. love the fact that there are details where you have arrows, essentially, right, um, within the piece that are actually not, not now you have a conscious use of arrows here where you're directing the vision, like uh, the, the viewer's vision to particular parts of the piece that are also in line with um, the, the natural lines that are within uh, certain layers. So you have a couple of arrows pointing to the collarbone where people can start to see the space aspect and kind of look down they can kind of either look up or look down and that's kind of cool then i also like the arrows the yeah where, where you have your your cursor at right now the arrow pointing down yeah so now we can also continue to look at the rest of the piece and we see all these little subtle details which again like guys you you hear me say this because this is where the gold is at you know we're we're in the crypto art the crypto art scene, you know, we're in a, the metaverse, we we know collectibles. This is how you can tell the difference between a quality collectible and something that may need a little bit more time to bake, you know? Um, George's detail is second to none, man, you know, and you could just see it. <laughs> and, and right right now he's using, <laughs> he's using the, wait, so this, wait, wait, actually, is that a, um, what sort of fish is that? It does look like a whale, right? It is a whale, man. It is a whale. Right. It is very small. That's uh, that's why. <laughs> but it, 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 you know what's funny though is that the reason why I say that is because it looks like you did some work on it to make it look like like a whale kind of spaceship, which is kind of <laughs> cool, you know. Yeah. This is uh, for the next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Space whale, yes, turd. Yep, space they, whale, whale ship. Yeah, they they love it. They like the concept. Okay, okay. I'm in the concept. I'm yeah. working on the concept, but I don't want to do something. 
uh, will be a surprise. Also, the buildings were made uh, by the same uh, things, material. Mm -hmm. okay? Again, yeah. uh, the yeah. green, uh, again the again it was uh, you know this head uh, that uh, was uh, transformed in a weird shape, and then uh, I think in this one uh, I cut the inside this part, make it again uh, some uh, mirrorings, and uh, putting it. And uh, also adding those uh, copper uh, rods. Uh, I made it look uh, like uh, a building, a space building, a well space building. Wow. Wow. Hey, uh, uh, hey, hey, jo hey, George, uh, side note, uh, Sturrick just, she just walked in. She said, hey, she said, hey, George. <laughs> hey, hey, Sturrick. Also, she made an uh, amazing artwork uh, that uh, uh, will be dropped uh, tomorrow. I don't know if uh, you saw it. The bubble. Oh, oh, not yet, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. Just like amazing. I, I'm, just, just, just like I waited the entire. Well, actually, the the past couple of days, I've been waiting to finally see your piece. So uh -huh. now I'm really excited to actually um, to be looking at it now. You would love it because it's uh, full of details. Uh, Massive, massive artwork. You see it in full screen and uh, it looks uh, crystal. Mm -hmm. Good and a great message, of course, uh, from the art, which uh, always needed. Mm -hmm. to complete the artwork, to have something to say, either about uh, contemporary events or, uh, you know, something uh, timeless uh, vibe. See also the helmet here. Mm. Again, uh, those uh, little uh, outside the hand. In Photoshop, uh, everything you do is uh, about layers. You have a layer upon a layer upon a layer upon a layer, and uh, this is how you make uh, the yeah. app. Yeah, y'all. Uh, for the for any aspiring crypto artist, he just gave you a super gem. He always drops gems, by the way. But this is another gem. Um, it really is all about the layers here, you know, and he's uh, he actually has layers connected to other layers. It's like a massive yeah. layout. It's like a web, essentially a web of layers, you know, speaking of, um, I actually want to talk about this back layer, the, the, the background itself with the orange circles. Um, is there any inspiration behind that particular layer? I don't know. I don't know. I was uh, thinking a lot of what to do with the background, and uh, I wanted it simple because uh, the main thing is it's very complicated the figure and the, the buildings and stuff. Uh, so I wanted the simple design. Uh, started with a circle. Mm -hmm. I like it, and then uh, I added a little circle in the back. <laughs> Just <laughs> like that. No deeper meaning. Uh, mm -hmm. Another cool thing, it's, uh, you know, this layer. Uh, sometimes create um, from textures, uh, this kind of layers that I use uh, as a varnish after the artwork, because collage, it's, uh, you know, different pieces, different styles, different, uh, different resolutions also in the pictures, in the photos. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to do, I want to put something, uh, you know, above everything else, a texture that uh, will uh, unify everything, make them, uh, you know, feel uh, like they have uh, uh, the same texture. So this is a good tip if uh, you like uh, to work with uh, collages, that mm -hmm. uh, you can always... Uh, so create a texture, put it uh, in a uh, very, you know, opacity around 20%, 15%, and uh, apply it like uh, a painter would have applied the varnish after, uh, you know, finishing the painting to give a final touch. It's uh, effective something. It was nice, uh, you know, old school, like uh, paper, uh, uh, that too. Like paper mache, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so uh, kind of, kind of, kind of. 
Yeah, it's, it's a little different without it. And yeah. Just, uh, plain, uh, you can see some... Um, like that. Uh, is this feel? It feels a, a bit uh, like, uh, handmade. It's nice and uh, it's easy. You can always uh, experiment a bit with uh, textures. Uh, download photos and uh, change the opacity, change the brightness, the darkness, uh, the intensity of the photo, and uh, yeah, you'll find a nice uh, semi transparent texture to put uh, in front of uh, your collage art. Could feel a little more you know, solid design. So, so, so that so that transparent layer that makes it look like it's worn paper, you had to design that too, essentially, or did you find that from somewhere else and kind of mess with it the same way you use these other layers right here? Oh, yeah, because... I think uh, this one is uh, kind of a lot of uh, different textures, photos, uh, and stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, different opacities, and uh, somehow came up uh, with uh, this result. Uh, it looks good, man. It looks like it looks like you scanned yeah, it, kind I mean, of. In a lot of uh, my artworks, uh, and also have uh, two, three. Sometimes, uh, you know, this, but I don't like uh, you know this plain uh, plain background. So this gives it the texture and uh, unifies it with uh, the rest of um, the artwork. So it's a cool tip, I think. Someone um, uh, wants to use it. Yeah. Um, so to piggyback off of um, me talking about the circles behind, the reason why I actually brought that up is because I want to go into um, a particular concept that I love about you. It's one of your strongest concepts that you tend to use. And um, it's it, it's really part of your style, you know, which, which I love the most, right? is that this particular piece, right? And the symbolism, the esoteria, right? It actually gives off the effect of a religious sort of icon, you know, or some kind of like uh, ethereal kind of uh, thing, you know, which is great. Like, so the, the the sun disc, you know, always behind the head is always vaguely reminiscent of some sort of godlike, demigod-like figure. You know, in um in the Egyptian and Greek and also um in Christian Judaic pantheon, right? So uh, this is this is super dope that that you incorporated this because it looks like some form of cyborg insectoid space godlike yes, you know, figure. Like, you know. Yeah, the whale spirit inside the, the machine. Mm, mm, the the whale spirit inside of the machine. I like that. Like a ghost in the shell, whale in the shell. <laughs> the <laughs> whale in the shell. Yeah, I like it. Some sort of uh, <clears throat> like this. Um, yes, the idea was uh, more or less uh, what uh, you were saying. Uh, um, a bit more as a take. The symbols also. The symbols. I don't really know what uh, that. They are kind of occult symbols, but I don't know the meaning. Just uh, found them and uh, it all started because I wanted to put the whale symbol uh, uh, in the red uh, garment. But then, uh, you know, I didn't want it to be only one. So I've uh, found some more symbols, uh, tried to match them, put the whale in. Uh, you know, st strategic positions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um, do some other. The moon, the moon. Very, very, very common. <laughs> one, one of our members, Foxy Yoga, she just said that um, she thinks the piece is really beautiful. And the fact that it has a soul of the machine or in the machine is a really nice touch. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, another another member, Domino, uh, they just said that it reminds them of a Japanese themed geisha girl. That's a cyborg in a red dress, which I kind of agree with. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that idea. From Ghost in the Cell again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 awesome, George. That you know, it's a testament to you and your ability that you can inspire all these visuals in 
the um the average viewer or actually uh semi-educated or highly educated um uh person or collector that's involved in art or crypto art you know it's um it's really hard to evoke an energy or a feel you know and you tend to do that all the time you know it's really hard to hit the bullseye over and over again so um it it, it says a lot about you you know and um it takes a lot of time to do that and speaking of time i'm just curious uh how long exactly did it really take to get this all together you know to build this and while 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 we wait for him to adjust uh just to piggyback off of what i'm saying it's um uh, a lot of times with an artist workflow that's where the secret sauce is at you know you hear me say that all the time and um when they tend to when they're in the throes of working it's really hard to combine their feel you know like they want you to feel something they're not essentially catering catering to a collector or try, they're not trying to appeal to mass amounts of people they want you to feel how they feel in the moment you know so his use of colors is important the the images the layers things like that uh it takes time to really get that all to gel well you know that's where your style is that's where that's where your vibe is. It takes time to really craft and develop your your style. You know, um, it takes a little bit of vulnerability too. You know, you have to be honest with yourself, but not so honest where you're cutting yourself off at the knees. You know, so it takes a lot of self reflection. I'm pretty sure um, some of our artists in the stream can relate. You know, they've they've been frustrated at times. They always question, "Oh, is this enough? Am I doing enough? Am I doing too much?" Is this about my ego? Is this about, is this about money? You know, um, sometimes it could go in different directions, but, um, the, the best artists are the ones who really accept that sometimes you just have to go through the storm or like George said, you have to go through the typhoon, man. You got to wait for the typhoon, go through the typhoon and come out with a masterpiece, you know, and the masterpiece is really just a part of you where each piece you're sharing literally a part of you. You know so yeah i mean with this with this particular piece uh what i like best is like um with the with the, like the cyborg insect kind of appendages that he has that color is really hard to find like i can't find that color anywhere even though he said that he used um he combined colors from the 200, 256 uh computer palette you know Oh, hey, Tinted. So he got the inspiration from, he showed us. So he pulled three different stock images, well, two different stock images. And then he built a uh, a mask with a very unique color. And he combined a, a metal rod from some mechanical something. I don't know what it was. And he he, gra he, he grabbed a stock image of a woman gra in a graduation gown. And he combined it. And he made it look super sick. And then he used some extra layers he used a layer of a um, of space, also some layers of a whale inside swimming in space, and then he had this transparent layer that made it look like some form of like linen tapestry painting, which is really sick. I would oh, Hey, yeah, yeah, you're back, man. Oh, um, so um, let me just answer a couple more questions while you get set up again. But yeah, uh, Con Wolf. So just so you know, um, George Boya is on Maker's Place. You can find his his stuff there. He's also on Twitter too. Uh, same tag. So you can tag, you can tag, you can use the tag that you just used to tag him in Discord, and you can find him there. Uh, Dab Dragon is me talking, man. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, he um, actually uh, the beginning was somewhat somewhat planned he kind of had a vague idea of what he wanted to do and then he let it grow about naturally so the layers came together naturally and uh, like i said with his style george is known for using tons of layers that are all connected together um he, his use of iconography symbolism and um using religious subtext somewhat or like uh su su religious suggestions you know within so a lot of the poses that are well known to like um uh, that, that that are well known from famous uh, religious artwork. He's not copying them. He's using suggestions, light suggestions of them, and he's remixing it and making it his. Uh, hey, Lady Mar, um, uh, uh, his his workflow. He usually just um, like George. Yeah, actually, you can speak to this. Lady Mar would like to know 
uh, how is your creative process essentially? Like, how do you prepare? What is your preparation before you start the workflow? Oh, um, uh, first I have to find uh, the photos that I want. Uh, start experimenting a bit uh, with uh, the photos. Uh, if I have an idea, uh, I'm trying to make uh, something like a rough sketch, let's say, of um, what I have in mind to see how it works. And uh, then I'm uh, starting to building uh, every piece. For this, for example, I started with a helmet first. You know, I had the, the, that image. First, I did the helmet. Then uh, found uh, this piece that I liked uh, for the breastplate, as you said. That uh, later led me to making those like uh, shoulder pads, uh, something here mm -hmm. and here. Then uh, I made this part as well, and I liked it, so I duplicated and uh, replicated, let's say, so it can uh, be like uh, you know, a whole armor uh, piece. Uh, then I made the the hand, the hands. And uh, then I started uh, looking for the extra details, like uh, this uh, road, like that. Uh, this uh, this was something that I didn't have in mind uh, from the start, but uh, helped me more with uh, the mechanical uh, look. Put it also here and uh, there. Of course, I had in mind uh, from the start, but I didn't uh, know how to use them. And uh, so I thought about the space. Because at the beginning, I was thinking of making the all mechanical, even the background, like this. But it was kind of uh, too much, and uh, I didn't like it. So I switched to space. Then I put the whales. And uh, last were uh, the buildings. I wanted uh, something uh, else uh, aside uh, the central uh, figure, the, the mates, let's say. And uh, so I created uh, the buildings with uh, the inside parts of these uh, pieces. Stuff like that. With the rods. And uh, I think uh, the clouds uh, were uh, the last. Uh, uh, element uh, that I added, those clouds in uh, this yellow color. That's like my favorite part, color. by the way. Uh, the clouds. Yeah, man. Yeah, they look uh, colored. They look uh, very beautiful. White, uh, they were not so. Because colored look like, uh, you know, smoke, uh, something, uh, gas, uh, something weird. <laughs> <laughs> something weird. Then I made the, the circle. Uh, actually, this is, that color led me to the, to the use of yellow. And uh, the last piece was uh, that one. So I kind of worked this way, starting the symbol and then adding, 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 adding until uh, until I'm satisfied. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, George. By the way, one of our members, uh, Darium, uh, he he just he just joined the whale community recently, so he doesn't know this, but he would like to know: at what age did you start as an artist? Well, um, I think I was uh, twenty nine. You know, I didn't uh, start uh, really early. Wait, hold on, hold on. He said twenty nine. Twenty nine, yeah. Twenty nine. Thirty-nine, you said thirty-nine. Uh, Twenty, twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Okay, wow, that's still mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that Darium is shocked. <laughs> twenty-nine. Darium is shocked, man. Yeah, man. And, uh, I mean... Before the collage, I was making, uh, you know, painting, uh, you know, miniatures uh, from uh, uh, strategy games like uh, Warhammer Forty K. I don't know if you know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, kind of stuff and. Uh, 
you know, I was very obsessed uh, with uh, painting them and changing them and doing them uh, stuff. And I think it was, uh, you know, I still uh, try to do the same thing with uh, photos. I take a simple photo and I start, uh, you know, transforming it into, into something else. Or the same thing. So it was, uh, I think, uh, even those years that I was working with uh, Minatus uh, still add uh, to, to my style. It is like a continuation, let's say. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. Um, one of our members, she's brand new to um, the community too. Her name is Camo. She would like to know, uh, how did you get into crypto art? And the crypto art, yeah. Uh, that was at uh, 2017, uh, the summer of 2017. Uh, I saw an ad about uh, Steamit, you know, the social media um, blogging platform with uh, the Steam currency and stuff like that. No, Hive is the same thing. Yeah, yeah, Hive and Steam. Yeah, the, the, uh, the fork. Okay. Yeah, it's the fork. Uh, this is how it started. I saw the ad. Uh, I didn't know anything about uh, cryptocurrency, nothing. Bitcoin, stuff like that. Uh, nothing at all. Uh, started uh, there. I like the idea of um, validating uh, your art at the blockchain. You know, make it, making it. Uh, you know, last, uh, stay for as long as the blockchain exists. <laughs> and uh, I started blogging there, uh, my artwork and, um, you know, at the spring uh, this year, I found out about uh, NFT art and uh, I'm in the space too. Yeah, and, and then the rest is history. You become a super <laughs> massive crypto artist. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so speaking of being a super massive or more like superhero, I remember uh, Dab Dragon, uh, one of my one of my homies, good friend of mine here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's also the um, the head of the Crypto Art League Discord server. Shout out to Crypto Art League, Crypto Art oh. uh, Crypto Art League Unite. Uh, he would like to know what's his, what's your favorite superhero because this particular piece is reminiscent of Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, he is. He is my favorite superhero. I admit that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like those uh, those uh, gadgets, those uh, sci-fi themes. Uh, I love them, and I did also uh, all those years uh, that I got into collage. I did also political and uh, satirical and stuff like that. But this is actually what I like um, more uh, to do. What I'm having uh, fun. Uh, sci-fi themes and uh, technology and uh, uh, visions of the future and this kind of stuff so yeah iron man is my favorite super film. yeah that's cool man i mean it, it takes goes in... sorry go ahead no 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 continue, continue. Oh, and I was gonna say, um, yeah, it takes. It, uh, I'm pretty sure it takes a takes a lot of time to really um, capture that aspect. You know, like being inspired by a cartoon and then putting pen to paper, or more like pen to Photoshop. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, speaking of Photoshop, Dab Dragon also has a follow up question. He would like to know um, how long you've been working in Photoshop. I mean, you you briefly touched on it, you know, around saying that when you started at 29, but. Um, how long, essentially, would you say it would take for a brand new artist to get proficient in using Photoshop? Uh, I don't know, months maybe. If uh, you know, if he's focused in what uh, he's doing and uh, starts seeing uh, tutorials and uh, stuff like that uh, to learn uh, the tools, uh, Photoshop is uh, it, it's it's a vast uh, program. Uh, you cannot uh, know everything. You start uh, with uh, what tools uh, you want to use it. You start uh, to learn the tools. Uh, myself, I never uh, learned any of the brushes uh, that uh, Photoshop uh, has. Uh, other people are painting in Photoshop. They are using all the brushes. To me, it's uh, totally unknown. Uh, but I think um, I think months because uh, when I started, uh, I made a lot of breaks uh, with uh, Photoshop. Uh, 
it was a bit difficult uh, at the beginning to switch from the hand cut uh, uh, to the digital, not because it was uh, the Photoshop uh, complicated, but uh, because it was not uh, for me very enjoyable the process. I didn't, I didn't like doing it in, <laughs> in <laughs> photo. <laughs> And, uh, you know, after that, um, I started doing a little bit of animation and then I started uh, becoming more interesting uh, as, uh, as an idea and uh, got more familiar with the tools. So now I feel more comfortable doing it in Photoshop. Yeah, like, it's, it, it's, it's really it's cool fun. that you brought it's really cool that you brought that up because one of our members, Domino, um, they wanted to know if, uh, while creating digital art, if it allows for easier expression um, of creating and implementing your ideas, you know, as opposed to just drawing it, but you just kind of touched on it that it was kind of difficult, <laughs> but you grown to love Photoshop, right? Essentially. Yeah, yeah, exactly that, exactly that. In the beginning, it was, it was very difficult, but not because uh, of the tools. The tools of uh, Photoshop are, uh, are simple stuff. You know, you cut, uh, you paint, you erase, you... It's easy. I think that uh, doesn't take long uh, for someone to figure out what uh, he's doing. But it was not uh, enjoyable for me. Because I used to, to create uh, hand-cut uh, artworks, I used to have uh, glues and uh, scissors and uh, cutters and uh, stuff like that and all the photos uh, around me to see and uh, create and uh, yeah yeah, now, yeah. Uh, <laughs> now... <laughs> a lot of a lot of our members they're actually uh they're really into sci-fi um uh, yeah. one member one member, Con Wolf, says that the piece reminds uh, them of Tron, Tron Legacy, to be specific. Yeah, and yeah. another member, Mr. Magnum, uh, says that yeah. it's kind of reminiscent of the Mandalorian and Star Wars. Are yeah, you into all, Star Wars? All, 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 the like, all the things I like in one. <laughs> really excited for the second season. Yeah, they, um, they, they're they curious if you're going to do something inspired by the Mandalorian. You think so, so right? the, the the new main character. I will try. I would love to, but uh, I don't know if I get inspired in uh, doing something that uh, it had a lot of cool stuff. I mean, the it had the robot also. The robot was really cool. I could do something with that. Hmm. Are you are are you into anime? Uh, uh, aside from Ghost in the Shell. No, no, not not so much, not so much. Uh, if, uh, okay. All are, uh, you know, my friends are uh, very into it, and I watched uh, a lot of anime, but I kind of uh, don't remember names and uh, titles and uh, stuff like that. But I enjoy that. Yeah, I like that. Uh, all right so um hey y'all here's a here's a really big super big announcement about george um i was waiting i was waiting to really reveal this to the entire community so everyone that's listening right now right just so you know uh george just he, he just hit a milestone essentially right uh so i believe it's this piece right george that uh that that, that just sold out correct this is the uh um, yeah, yeah. it was yeah, about yes yeah yeah y'all so yeah so check this out y'all out of the whale nft mining initiative george is the first artist i believe correct the first one who's who sold out i don't know i think that uh, we all sold out <laughs> oh well okay so so wait for, 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 from what i know okay from, from what i saw i believe that even you know, even though pack dropped right i believe that george is the either the fastest or the first to have sold out um of all the editions of this piece that you just looked at so please clap it up for him in the stream text channel please congratulate let him um let him know show him show him some whale fam love uh he did a big thing here this is huge you know it was, yeah. 
Of course, the other artists had uh, more editions also. Than, like, so, yeah. kind of. But on the other side, it was uh, high gas uh, day. So, it was also um, difficult to make sales, uh, purchases. Yeah, it was no. cool. Yeah, high, high gas is the typhoon, you know? Yeah, yeah, high gas season, high gas season. It's a tropical climate in the, in the Ethereum world. Yeah. Um, all right, George, uh, do you have any last words for the Whale fam and for this uh, NFT mining experience as a whole? So far, it was uh, amazing. I know that... Uh, I like the Well family, and it's, uh, uh, my favorite. I, I don't think I'm writing in any Discord uh, <laughs> apart from <laughs> the Well. <laughs> always active, uh, always uh, some feel interesting uh, ideas. Uh, well, is popping the new ideas, uh, you know, every. Uh, I saw now that uh, you can uh, air uh, Rari to Well, I think, and. Uh, I will with Rari. Am I wrong mm. that? Yeah, that's 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 awesome. All right, y'all. Um, everyone, please thank George for his time. Thank you, George. I greatly appreciate the fact that you were able to share this with us on this awesome Friday. You know, coming into fall, this is the perfect way to welcome us into fall season. Uh, the mm -hmm. whale fam loves you, bro. I always love your work. I you know I, how I, it is. I love, I love you. Uh, yeah, y'all. Uh, yeah, everyone's saying thank you very much. They're super. They were super grateful that you were here, man. So, uh, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir.